Maura Murray, born on May 4, 1982, is an American woman who vanished on the night of February 9, 2004, following a car accident on Route 112 near Woodsville, New Hampshire, a locality within the town of Haverhill. Her current location remains a mystery. At the time of her disappearance, Murray was a 21-year-old nursing student in her junior year at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Prior to disappearance, in November 2003, just three months prior to her disappearance, Murray confessed to utilizing a stolen credit card to place food orders at various restaurants, including one located in Hadley, Massachusetts. This charge was carried over into December, but was ultimately dismissed after three months of good behavior. On the evening of February 5, 2004, while performing her duties at her campus security job, Murray had a phone conversation with her older sister Kathleen, during which they discussed Kathleen's difficulties in her relationship with her fiancé. Around 10.30 p.m., while still on duty, Murray was reported to have broken down in tears. When her supervisor arrived at her desk, she appeared to be completely zoned out and unresponsive. The supervisor subsequently escorted Murray back to her dormitory at approximately 1.20 a.m. When questioned about her distress, Murray simply stated, My sister. The details of this conversation remained undisclosed until October 2017, when Kathleen publicly revealed that she had been discharged from a rehabilitation facility that evening, and on her way home, her fiancé had taken her to a liquor store, which led to her relapse. On Saturday, February 7th, Fred, the father of Murray, arrived in Amherst. He informed investigators that he and Murray spent the afternoon shopping for a car, followed by dinner with a friend of his daughter. After dropping her father off at his motel, Murray borrowed his Toyota Corolla and returned to campus to participate in a dormitory party, arriving at 10.30 p.m. She departed the party at 2.30 a.m. on Sunday, February 8th. At 3.30 a.m., while heading back to her father's motel, she collided with a guardrail on Route 9 in Hadley, resulting in damages to her father's vehicle amounting to nearly $10,000, which is equivalent to $16,100 in 2023. The responding officer documented the incident in an accident report. However, there is no record of any field sobriety tests being administered. Murray was subsequently taken to her father's motel, where she remained in his room for the remainder of the morning. At 4.49 a.m., a call was made from Fred's phone to her boyfriend, but the details and participants of the conversation are unknown. Later that Sunday morning, Fred discovered that his auto insurance would cover the damages to his vehicle. He rented a car, dropped Murray off at the university, and then left for Connecticut. At 11.30 that evening, Fred called his daughter to remind her to collect the accident forms from the Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicles. They agreed to have another conversation on Monday night to discuss the forms and complete the insurance claim over the phone. Preparations and Departure After midnight on Monday, February 9th, Murray utilized her personal computer to access MapQuest for directions to the Berkshires and Burlington, Vermont. The first documented interaction she had on that day occurred at 1 p.m., when she sent an email to her boyfriend stating, I love you more, stud. I received your messages, but to be honest, I wasn't in the mood to converse with anyone. I assure you, I will call today. Love you, Maura. Additionally, she made a phone call to inquire about the availability of a condominium at the Bartlett, New Hampshire, condo association where her family had previously vacationed. Telephone records show that this call lasted three minutes, but the owner did not agree to rent the condo to her. At 1.13 p.m., Murray contacted a fellow nursing student for reasons that remain unclear. Later that afternoon, at 1.24 p.m., Murray sent an email to a supervisor at her nursing school, informing them that she would be out of town for a week due to a family death. However, her family later stated that there had been no such occurrence. 
She also mentioned that she would reach out to them upon her return. At 2.05 p.m., she called a number that provides recorded information regarding hotel bookings in Stowe, Vermont, with the call lasting approximately five minutes. At 2.18 p.m., she reached out to her boyfriend, leaving a voice message in which she assured him they would speak later. This call concluded after one minute. Murray loaded her vehicle with clothing, personal care items, academic textbooks, and contraceptive pills. Subsequently, when campus police conducted a search of her room, they found the majority of her possessions organized in boxes, along with artwork that had been taken down from the walls. It remains uncertain whether Murray had packed these items on that particular day. However, law enforcement indicated at the 